Hi, my name is Wynn Kiyama from Portland Taiko, and today I'm going to walk you through building your own Taiko out of a tire. You can get a tire from any of your local tire centers uh, here in the Pacific Northwest, Les Schwab. They'll be happy to give you a tire. It's one less tire that they have to recycle. And you can feel good about reusing these tires and then building um, a homemade taiko drum for practice. So first thing is once you get your tire, uh, the choice might be dependent on just what car tires they've changed that day. So I would recommend getting the smallest tire you can just because then it'll be easier to handle. And then clean it uh, with warm water and soap and if a, a brush if you have it. You'll probably want to give it 24 hours for it to dry completely. And if the tire has been used on gravel roads, then you might want to just take the time uh, to pick out the gravel with any kind of screwdriver, uh, whatever tool you have. So once the tire is clean and dry, you can start building the Tyco with the clear packing tape. Okay, so once we have our tire cleaned, pull the clear packing tape across the tire in the center and then pull it taut as you're going. I wouldn't suggest going crazy tight because I've had a tire a bow in the past uh, when I was pulling it really tight. So just tight enough and then just start off doing a star pattern. And then from here, we're just going to fill it in. You'll want to overlap maybe like a quarter of an inch or so, a quarter of an inch right around here, uh, and then just continue the star pattern. So once you've done one layer, then the second layer, you could do a contrasting pattern. Again, overlapping around a quarter of an inch or so. I would do this all the way across. So this is our second layer, and then the third layer you can go this way. This will give you a nice, strong enough surface where you're hitting, uh, and it should feel much like a taiko drum. It's not gonna sound like a taiko drum, but after all, if you live in an apartment, uh, you probably don't wanna make a ton of noise, but at least it has the feeling of a taiko drum. of tape on the tire on both sides. If you want, you can put duct tape around the edge, um, along the diameter. I've seen some people use colored tape and that looks really nice. Or you could kind of just leave, leave it rustic like this. Uh, so it's all set to go. Uh, one thing about the tape, I use Scotch uh, brand tape and I found that that is the best uh, for uh, for taking the, the hits and not ripping. You can use other brand tapes, but you might need to do more than three layers. Uh, so here's three layers of the Scotch brand tape. Um, I think you could use the heavy duty style Scotch packing tape or just the regular Scotch packing tape. Three layers. And it'll take around a little bit over one roll per side of the tire. So once you have that all set up, you can put it on two chairs and then use this for the beta style. And if I put it on one chair like this, then this is appropriate for the naname style. And with that, you have your own practice tire Tyco. Uh, one final thing I'll say is that, yes, it, it does use plastic. And if any of you have um, ideas 
for a biodegradable version of this, this would be great. Of course, we're reusing the Tyco, so giving it a, a second life, so I feel good about that. Uh, but again, we are using a certain amount of plastic. So as you use it, make sure that you're using it well. Uh, and if you find that you're not using the tire Tyco, please reach out to other Tyco groups or drummers to see if they can use it so we can at least keep it in circulation. Finally, Portland Tyco will be posting other videos, so keep your eye out for Meredith, who is going to teach you how to make a Tyco out of a garbage can, and Matthew, who will be teaching you how to make a bachi out of oak dowels. Thanks again.